Yeah, it was very unlucky. Like um, one more missed jam cycle and the Griffin would have been dead. But yeah, you never know. That fateful Griffin. Yeah, that was close. It was a good game though. Yeah, it was really how the jams landing or not. But the 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 game against the Dremiel and the Katsuni was even worse, I think. But uh, the problem with this, like, you guys seen it, the Daredevil doesn't have enough um, DPS to kill a ship. Oh, yeah, but it doesn't have enough time. DPS in tank combo. Like, um, I was uh, comfortably reloading one ASB while pulsing the other one, so... But yeah, we're fourth place now. Uh, I'm happy about that. That's what I wanted to achieve. So uh, everything's fine by me. And congratulations. What was yeah, the total? Uh, 16 team? I think that's uh, pretty good, actually, out of 16. So, uh, it was a bit pushing last night. Okay, like A lot of matches late into the night. So that might have played some role um, for the later games. Yeah, well... It was our first time too, so it's pretty, it was pretty hard and, you know, I didn't know how hard to control everything just by myself. So that's why it took so long on the start. We wasted like, I don't know, 40 minutes almost in the start and that was bad. We could have used that time for, you know, for the later matches. But anyway... Yeah, also, I think if the... Uh tournament would have started like an hour or two earlier than it would have been better for the euro guys at least yeah well i i put that time later because of the americans so they can participate better i guess it's almost the same for them one hour plus minus right yeah it depends on where they are like they're six hours or no, five hours um behind eve time between five and eight, I think. So it would have been like uh, maybe around 10 a.m. local time at the worst for them, uh, which is, uh, I guess, still better than uh, like one or two at night. Yeah. Well, it's really funny because the actual tournament usually have matches in 14 euro time. I'm pretty sure that's almost like the very morning for, you know, the West Coast US guys. Yeah, and it's pretty um, pretty hard on the Australians and New Zealanders. Oh, yeah. Well, this game is not for, uh, you know, time zones. Probably <laughs> the time zones, time zones decide things. Yeah, I know that. Are you happy about how the, the tournament went down so far, Zuko? Yeah, I'm I'm really happy because the whole purpose of this tournament are paying out well. So I'm really happy now. Did you uh, have any interruptions I... uh, on the gates? I think from unfriendlies. Or you had really? some uh, gate camps to secure against it? Not really, but... Oh yeah, we did actually. <laughs> <laughs> we are in line. Exactly. Why are you asking me this question? We have this huge standing fleet all the time guarding us. Yeah. <laughs> also, uh, I just remembered, um, Zuku, I do have one tiny complaint. Oh, yeah, what? It's which one? You know, um, I've been wandering around the pilot's launch, you know, uh, where we all are before the match just start and, and so on, and I I couldn't find any coal bus there. What, what's wrong with that? <laughs> Well, I'm sorry, I can't give you cool bus in game. So, well. <laughs> rip, rip. Just as I told you, come to Hungary and I will give you one. One cool bus. Wow, that sounded dirty. Yeah, well, if you think of that way. Uh... <laughs> you out there on the stream, everyone heard it. Cool. Uh, Azuku wants to show me his cool bus. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> well, thank you guys for coming and see you next time. <laughs>
and we will talk for with the prices anyway later. So see you guys now. Congratulations. Congratulations. Bye bye. Thank you for the effort to to, to make this happen. You're welcome. All right, the match is almost ready. So... Well, still not ready, but <laughs> almost. <laughs> Just hold on, guys. What do you think, guys, about Progodlay and versus uh, Alice Randolph? Have you seen that video? Yeah, I saw it. Poor at least only had four Tech One warriors against. No ammo. Probably <laughs> <laughs> no ammo. So bad. But but still, you know, when they when they had the two minute warning and and they wow they couldn't feed those ships in two minutes. I mean, random. We did that before the tournament a lot of times, right? Yeah. So we can I mean, officially say yeah. they could be doing that better, right? <laughs> well, I noticed uh, they had two minutes, you say? The first one minute they were just sitting there dilly dallying and, and having all kinds of good ideas for fancy tactics and shit and not really fitting anything. And yeah, then they was... realized, oh, I have 30 seconds left. They just. Yeah, exactly. That was so shit. dumb, man. Like when, when Elise realized he has 30 seconds left on it, he didn't even have guns fed at that point. Like, shit, I need guns, yeah. and I just spamming his fucking guns on it. I still forgot to put an ammo ammunition. Yeah. That's pretty bad. It was good fun, though. So, you mean uh, you don't bring ammo to your fights? What's happening right now, Tsuko? Like, uh, when is the next match coming up? Well, they're warping to you for checking now, so it is happening. Ah, nice. Happening. All right, so it's another BO3 that we're having right now, and then uh... yes, that's correct. After this, we're going to have a best of five. Nice. Well, I, I don't really know Tonic. Uh, can he speak proper English? Um, I guess yeah. Tonic's fine. Crane's fine in English. Well, you want me to we invite him? Reich second anyway. Uh, I think wow. after this match we will having a little break. And Kilo, I want you to uh, interview your German guys in German, okay? So we, the rest of the guys here, we will have a little break. And please, you interview it for the Germans in the alliance, okay? Actually, on German? Yes, please. <laughs> I mean, we can do that, but I'm pretty sure at least Crane or Tonic can definitely speak English, like that's not an issue. Yeah, it's fine, but we want to listen a little German here. Okay, okay. Well, you're German, you're all efficient and stuff, man. Okay, I can do that. <laughs> Why not? It's fine. I want to drink something. Well, it's, uh, so do you want to do it right after this match, or like after the best of three series? Well, af after this match, okay? Because I okay. think this is the almost most frustrating match for them. Uh, for for Minecrafters team, the team random color, uh, very, very frustrating. They they need to play six matches in a row, maybe. That's very hard. Okay, yeah, I see that. Alright, so I'm back in the arena, I'm just waiting for random, and we should be ready to go to have the first match of the, the semi-finals. I think it is. Are you checking them, random? Yes. Alright, and I think they're done. So we're coming to a close. At least we couldn't PDQ. Final matches. Couple more, and then we know who the best is. Right now, it's just a uh, first one.
Alright, both teams are here. Shining and Starlight come down. We've got Caldari Navy Hookbill versus Crew and Sentinel. This is something we oh, haven't seen. That Sentinel. Is that That's the first true. crew we've seen? We are yeah, seeing? they've been banned a bunch of times. This is the first time yeah, they made it on There was at least once, one time uh, Sentinel and crew were filled. Oh. Can, can you start? Okay. Well, the interesting right. thing that uh, the sweeper was not banned and uh, they haven't brought it. Or was it banned? No, it was banned. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's, my bad. Bad. it's my it's bad. It's my bad. It's your armor. I'm sorry. My bad. <laughs> the Hoogville is kinda a lower level of armor here, and well, Ishko is. I don't know, Worm, maybe lower level? The match is starting in three seconds. Let's see. And it started. Oh, oh we wow, got both. Nice speed. Yep, we got both the Sentinel and the crew are burning away from their enemy. Well, They're just Hookville, sitting still. Hookville and uh, Ishgur are kind of just sitting there. Hmm. No one's shooting anyone yet, so. It like, might be dumpers. Well, I think the Ishkur have afterburner actually because the yeah, it looked like that, that, the Hookbill and the Ishkur are afterburner fitted for sure. Well, I'm not sure about the Hookbill because that might be his its basic speed. Is it? It's kind of fast for that. Yeah, but for the Ishkur, that's obviously an afterburner. Yeah, that's a uh, Hookbill with no F no uh, speed mod. Sentinel and Crew are now going in slowly towards the Hookbill. It seems. They do want oh, to get that hookbill first. Sentinel's I'm not sure if they're baiting them or not. Hookbill shooting the sentinel. Yeah, and oh yeah, the hookbill just started moving. You see? And yep, sentinel there you go. On the hookbill. And the Ishkur deployed drones and sending to the on sentinel. Sentinel, yep. Well, I'm not sure what the hook bill doing. He's 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 keep closing in. No, actually, the hook bill is getting further and further oh, away yeah. from them. Yeah, he's trying. To but the crew away. is burning in for the hook bill right now. Is he gonna be able to catch him? It's getting really mm -hmm. close. Ooh. It's so close it's now. Yeah, they no. just know that no. this sentinel is actually a uh, shield tank. And the crew. You sure. Yeah. The hook bill is MV defeated now. It's sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is sure. And passive tank, obviously. Yeah. And the crew is in armor now, seems like. Well, this is a truly skill-based match now. Two kiting teams, technically. I think they are shooting drones. At yeah, least the crew seems are like. Shooting drones. Yes, yeah, the shooting drones are on the drones as well, but the crew is taking damage now. It's got another bunch of armor damage. That's, uh, yeah, the Hoopal is shooting the crew and it's bleeding into armor. Let's see if uh, the crew has some reps on to actually tank it for a while. Well, it's, yeah. Yeah. it's really based on the Sentinel can neutralize that Hoopal or not. Missile yeah. is landing on the crew. As you can see, the Sentinel keep trying to get into neutralizing range. And the Hoopal, oh, he's moving outside a little. Yeah, the Hoopal actually has a damp on that Sentinel, so... Oh. Sentinel does have nudes on the on the crew uh, on the hookbill now it seems. Yeah, he's getting close. He's getting right yep. on him right now. And the crew is in low armor already. Question is, can he survive until the hookbill is dead? Ooh, that is a not bad sure. choice for get, not getting micro war drive on the Ish crew now. And the Ish crew is having issues burning towards his friend helping him because he only has an AB fit. Actually, Ishkur is trying to burn back to him as well. Ishkur is not really oh. able to do anything now. Well, the crew are getting damaged, so it might be a trade now. Yeah, yeah the drones are still on the cure. Exactly, drones are on the cure and it's going into structure right now. Question is, can oh they kill God. the hook fast enough? Boosting. Yeah, he painted it. He <laughs> painted it. The hook just baited them to come close. And the crew, and oh, the crew wow. is down. All right, now that let's might see. be followed by that hook build. Yeah, yeah but we see that the sentinel though. 
Sentinel can take two ships by itself. Yep. Oh, we yeah. saw it earlier. But there are really great ships here, so let's see. But it's shield tank, you confirmed that. Yeah, it's a shield tank. He's sentinel, zero so. shield now. Okay, there goes the hot one. There goes the hook. Oh, wow. There, oh. there goes the armor. Oh, no armor. Like, wow. Huge shit into the Sentinel's armor. Well, that armor damage is actually done by the last volley from the hookbill, so. But, yeah. Hero Hookbill. Good fight. Mm hmm. And pop Bam. Yeah, Good there fight. it goes. Good fight. Good first it's match. Going for Team Random Color. What an amazing first match. It was truly nice. Okay, Kula, uh, please grab your mates and gr uh, have a little break. English guys, uh, make it like five, seven minutes. Okay, Kula. I, I'll get them to this channel real quick and then we can start it. Yep. So you can use Daenerys too because he's bad at English, I heard. Yeah, the question is, you do want to do it in German or English? Like, what's the deal? Yeah, yeah, truly, just do it in German, so all right, all right. the rest of us can, get, you know, have a rest and I'm looting still, so... Yeah, just do that. Alright. Let's see if Seven I can get them up there. Seven minutes, Shanyan and Darian and me, of course. Okay, thanks. Yeah, so we have a break, yeah? Yes, it's for seven right. minutes. And I let Killa to interview for the German, but... Alright. Hey guys. Hello. Okay. Ich habe jetzt hier zwei Repräsentanten von dem Team, uh, ein Repräsentant vom Team Banana Bros und ein welches Team warst du, Koff? A Team Shiva. A Team Shiva. Wie war für euch bis jetzt das Tournament? Wie habt ihr es gespielt? Was waren so eure Ideen und so weiter? Bisschen drüber weggehen. Ich würde sagen, Crane fängt mal an. Um, ja. War auf jeden Fall sehr interessant, sehr spannend, schöne Matches dabei gewesen. Um, wir sind ein bisschen wenig dazu gekommen, uns vorzubereiten, leider, durch uh, Real Life. Um, haben das Ganze quasi fast nur auf äh, Theory craften und äh, Eft Warrior äh, runterbrechen müssen. Aber im Endeffekt waren schöne Matches dabei und ähm, unser, unsere beiden letzten Matches, ja, auf jeden Fall äh, einmal krass out depassed worden und beim allerletzten Match in der Losers Bracket leider äh, nicht so das Jamming Glück gehabt. Okay, Kurs. Ja, also waren auf jeden Fall schöne Matches dabei. Wir haben viel Verschiedenes gesehen. Wir haben viele Teams gesehen, die sich wirklich stark drauf vorbereitet haben. Wir haben auch einige gesehen, die sich äh, kaum vorbereitet haben. Und ja, das äh, letzte Match, das war wirklich so ein bisschen... Und dieses? Guten Abend. Hallo. Hallo. Das war halt wirklich so ein bisschen das Jam-Glück. Also, und ähm, der, der Umstand halt, dass eine Dramiel, äh, eine Daredevil alleine nicht genug DPS hat, dann um, um was zu töten. Ähm, ja, okay. Ähm, wie war für dich das, wie war für dich das Tournament, Agi? Was hast du, wie hast du so empfunden? Hat es dir gefallen? Ja, ganz gut, ne? Sollten wir öfter machen. Ja, ich sag mal zum Schluss, <lacht> sah ja recht witzig aus. Hätte ja auch funktionieren können. Aber ansonsten, ja, geht's. <lacht> ja, ah. ich mich äh, so ein bisschen überrascht, um ehrlich zu sein, mit eurem Setup. Ähm, weil ihr sonst eigentlich immer nur, ich glaube, Ishkur Enyo oder äh, Retribution bzw. Vengeance gebracht habt. Nee, ihr hattet Vengeance immer, ne? Nee, das war das andere Team, wir hatten immer die Vengeance, ja. Ja, wir wollten euch mal überraschen. <lacht> wir können auch andere Schiffe fliegen. Ja, wir hatten erst lange rum überlegt, äh, ob wir tatsächlich 
bei dem alten Setup nochmal bleiben. Ähm, haben uns dann aber entschieden, alles oder nix. Und haben uns dann für das Setup entschieden. Ich äh, war gestern und heute, also gestern, nachdem das Turnier fertig war äh, und heute, bevor es wieder angefangen hat, haben wir aber auch extra... Ähm, wir haben uns alle Bands angeguckt, einmal von eurem Team und einmal von ähm, Team Random Color war es, glaube ich. Mhm. Und haben dann nochmal so ein bisschen geübt, um zu gucken, äh, ob wir mit den Sachen, die wir da haben, irgendwas bauen können, mit dem wir äh, das, äh, das Double Assault Frigate Setup besiegen können, weil Double Assault Frigates sind halt vom DPS her schon sehr stark. Aber wo ja. wir da ja auch unseren Meister gefunden haben im vorletzten Match, also ich Enjo, das ist schon echt pervers, was da an Schaden rüberkommt. Ja, ja deshalb habe ich auch die Ischko äh, gebannt, aber weil wir wollten auch selbst die Enjo bringen. Mhm. Ähm, einmal noch, und zwar habe ich mich mir aufgefallen bei den Banana Bros, ihr habt fast immer, wenn nicht sogar immer, das weiß ich gar nicht, die, äh, die Confessor und die Sheepool gebannt. Und wie, wie, wie so habt ihr das gemacht? Oder wolltet ihr einfach absolut gar nicht gegen die T3-Destroyer fighten? Oder hattet ihr keine Doktrin, die dagegen funktioniert hätte? Wie, wie und warum habt ihr das äh, so immer gebannt, so konsequent? Wenn ihr das sagen wollt. Ja, wie sagt man so schön? Ja, Angstgegner. Ich weiß nicht, ob wir da gegen ein Setup gehabt hätten. Also wenn, dann hätten wir mit den Assault Chips gekämpft. Und wie gesagt, wir haben nicht so viel trainiert. Das heißt, wir konnten gar nicht sagen, ob unsere Schiffe das tanken würden. Und da haben wir einfach gesagt, ach komm, wann wir die halt immer. <lacht> also ich sag mal so, wir hätten Mirror Match spielen können. Ne? Wir hätten auch den, den T3 dann fielen können, aber wir wollten einfach, wir hatten keine Lust, uns, uns das anzutun. Die T3 sind im Moment in dem Bereich krass overpowered. Und dementsprechend haben wir gesagt, nee, komm, äh, wir ziehen das mit den Bands so weit durch, bis es irgendwann nicht mehr geht. Na, wenn wir jetzt noch weitergekommen wären, irgendwann hätten wir wahrscheinlich dann auch mal gesagt, okay, wir lassen es offen. Wir bringen jetzt selber die Konfessor. Ähm, aber so bin ich im Endeffekt ganz zufrieden gewesen mit unseren Bands und Setups. Okay, wollt ihr noch was sagen? Noch irgendjemanden grüßen, einen Shoutout machen oder so? Eine Frage habe ich. Und zwar ja. die, die HP zum Schluss. War die jetzt Cap alle, wo wir die schon in der Armor hatten? Oder war das einfach Bait Tank? Uh, nee, also ich habe immer ähm, einen, also ich hatte zwei Medium und Celery Shield Booster drauf mhm. äh, und ich habe aber immer nur einen zum Tanken gebraucht, das heißt, äh, wenn der eine im Reload war und dem anderen dann locker wegtanken noch. Ah, okay. Schade. <lacht> Na gut. Äh, und zu den T3s, ja, also wir haben gemerkt, dass äh, in der Regel dann T3 kann nur von einem T3 besiegt werden. Okay, wir hatten einen relativ frühen Match, beziehungsweise das erste Match gegen Sentinel Hawk, wo wir ähm, mit unserem Tinker Setup in Anführungszeichen verloren haben, aber das war ein bisschen unglücklich. Aber in der Regel kann man sagen, äh, T3, da muss man mit einem T3 rangehen, um eine realistische Chance zu haben. Ja, oh, sehe ich genauso. Alles klar. Ja, wenn ihr nicht mehr noch hinzufügen wollt, dann wäre es das soweit von unserer Seite. Vielen Dank für eure Worte. Danke für die Einladung. Jo. Gerne, gerne. Und noch fröhliches Kommentieren. Ja, mal schauen. Ihr ja, macht das schon. Viel Spaß noch. Ja, bye bye. danke fürs Kommen. Bis später. Okay, guys, Ciao. have a nice evening. Okay, I think the German part is over. Ja, yeah, we're done. That was some uh, interesting German. Okay. Well, if you want to, you know, assume Maramid, please do, for English. Oh, well, we just talked about, you know, like, when, uh, what they, what they've been, uh, like, what they felt about the tournament, how they liked it, they all, you know, they all liked it, they, they think that we should do this more often, and, uh, then they were talking a little bit about how they, uh, you know, like the, the doctors they decide and why they decided to bring him and um, of course said that you can, that in their opinion you can pretty much just beat a tier 3 uh, destroyer with a tier, another tech 3 destroyer like this, you know, that rule and um, yeah, then they, you know, they asked themselves some questions about some setups because they were curious about it That's some some basic talk pretty good okay. cool, well, we're not truly <laughs> ready with anything yet 
Uh, but well, this is a hard time for these teams. So we have to mention that, for example, the team Random Color played uh, four matches in a row, and they are facing their fifth match. So it's really hard. And we were there with the AT team before, you know, uh, in AT12 in September. We had the same situation. After our match, we had to ban for the next one and keep getting ready. You know, it's really harsh. And you have to refit things. You have to think your, about your tactics, what you will do. It's basically the same here, just not that big level for 12 people environment. But for two, it's, well, they have to talk and, you know, refit everything. It's very hard. Okay, actually they just said that they are ready, so let's do this. So we're going into the second match of the, the best of three. Uh, interesting. Yellow Swag Reloaded versus Team Random Color, second... Uh, Second match of the best of three. And we already got the bans for the second round. Um, team also reloaded banned the Swipple and the Griffin. Uh, whereas Team Random Color banned Sentinel and the Crua. So, again, they don't want to face that again, it seems. So they just banned it out completely. And the Confessor is open. That's uh, interesting. The question is if, if one team is going to bring the Confessor, but uh, with the Confessor being able to pick, I, I, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm betting we're going to see at least one Confessor uh, here in this game. Just a second. Darian, are you here? Yes, I'm here. Uh, can you update the ban list? Oh, yeah, I updated it already. Uh, who won the first match? Uh, the first match won by Team Random Core. Okay. Then I updated that as well. There should be coming the checking part now. They are. So the confessor is open again. Yep, it is open. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be picked as well. Yeah, me too. Yeah, well, now, same. now I think that uh, those these three battle cruisers cannot really be defeated. We've only seen one time uh, it get defeated by two frigates. Yeah, that's that... what uh, what Cor said exactly. Like he he's uh, you know he's totally agreeing with you, and. It's I kind of probably agree with that as well. Like, they are so strong. Just not really beatable. Yeah, the uh, only, Maxine. The only time we, we see Sorry. that was uh, when the other team uh, killed the Confessor with a Sentinel. Right at the first couple of matches of yesterday. Yep. Yeah, Purify the Cloak, by the way. Uh, Shanyan, when... Shanyan, when they land, both teams just started to tear the second countdown. Okay. And we do have first team landing right now. And they're Confessor zero. and Incursus, Elistar, whatever edition. Yeah, just the skin to Incursus. Yeah. So they decided to work it on zero with their ships. Let's see what the other team decides to do. Exciting. Oh, and there we have zero a Tristan landing at zero as well. It's only one of them. 
Okay, so Yolo's fact reloaded, landed on zero with the confessor and the curses. Both teams are absolutely yep. zero. Both at zero. All right. And two confessors. So team random color brought a Tristan and a confessor at zero as well. So it's probably oh. going to be a brawling match. Yeah, but it's it. This is when the skill and tactic parts comes in, and you can start the countdown. This is where the tactics come in. I would choose to destroy the frigate first because you can like pop it. But what if you start popping the confessor? You might deal enough damage to deal with both of them later because you're losing the frigate near yourself. But you're destroying the confessor, right? Yeah. Depends on where you put your DPS first. Yes, it's really. I'm actually about to start. And it's on. And it's off. It seems like they're going for the Tristan. Yep. And he's trying to run, but and he came in a zero, so there's no Ooh. run. And just as we told, Madcrafters, the team random color team, went for the Confessor. Confessor. Barely tank. He can tank longer, but it seems like the Tristan is not <sighs> able to tank. Yeah. Oh my god, that bait Tristan, right? Oh. Wow, Tristan. Oh god, like what? Full shield. It's special Tristan full shield. To live. Oh my god. Holy shit. It's, it's live. And How is he tanking that? Going back out for the Tristan. And he's a full is shield. Is the Confessor actually gonna die before the Tristan? Oh, Holy maybe. shit. No way. Oh, no. Wow. And there goes Tristan down. And Jimmy is at full armor again. Now it's Madcrafter versus both a Confessor and a Curses. So intense. The question is how well can he tank? But, but what what happened? I mean, they have a DPS destroying Jimmy. He was in a bad stance, maybe? Actually, judging by looking at the field, I don't see the Tristan's drones out. Actually, he didn't call. He didn't launch drones. Maybe. Uh, Damn. There's a structure. This is and a close. Down. And this they time. did win it. Jamir and Rambo won the second game. This yep. means one. One one. One one. So one, one we yes. We are to decide this. We are going to have another match again. So, so far we are having a max, ma maximum of the matches we could. So many so close matches now, it's uh, really intense, really amazing. I just wonder though, did Kit, did, uh, Kit even launch drones? Or did he have drones? Okay, Random, you can go back to your scanning position. Ah, yes. And we're just doing the next bands. Okay, I would like to ask you guys to watch for the Twitch chat. The Twitch chat, sorry. For the PTQ. Uh, not really interested as I see. Just wanted to, you know, have questions asked on PTQ chat. 
from our fellow Nulu citizens, but naturally joined anyone here, so... Still, if someone has any questions, just hit it. Really? No questions? So, who's just joining in to the stream? There is one more last match uh, until we reach the finals. And this match decides which team getting into the final from the loser bracket. And after that, up to f four matches will be uh, to decide the winner of the tournament. By the way, um, me of course, where is Tiro? I don't it know, he done. said he went out, so... Yeah, I know, but we told that you will play. Yeah, then suddenly he told me that he had uh, a friend come over and... Yeah. yeah. Damn. Well, but luck for us. There's no other yeah. teams left to entertain us. Well, I tried to find us once. <laughs> well, give me, give me someone who would 1v1 me. I, I still got ships here. Okay. Let's ask. Uh, Suko, do you mind if Siru comes up and uh, joins us? He had a bit of a commentary and I'm getting extremely tired. Uh, who's? One of the Shiva guys that's out of yeah, the tournament. Yeah, well, why not? You can, he can. Sharp, sharp or who? Siru. Okay, just invite me. Uh, but can you still do the checking thing? Yeah, yeah, I'll do it. Okay, cool. I'll uh, be right back. Zuko, I think there's a few questions for you in the uh, Twitch chat. Let's see. Do you have a girlfriend? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's one of my co mates. He like trolling like a bitch. But he's gay, so... Why is random hero so noble? I think that's a rumor. To be honest. <laughs> hey, guys. Hey, Xenia. Hey, what's up? What's up? I'm burning back with a ship. Hey, don't you want one versus from me, of course? Who, me? Yeah. I've moved all my ships out, man. I'm uh, out. I already saw you. Fine. Oh, come on. Okay. So, what's your predictions? Who are going to win this? Well, Praetor is not human, so. You know, you gotta... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> like you, you, you got that going. But I mean, if you can beat the, honestly, I think Rambo and Jameer's got the the second place lockdown. Like I don't, that's my prediction so far. But well, uh, we will see that right now. The match is ready, yeah, 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 yeah. so. Yeah, I'm a couple jumps out to come watch live, but. Oh my god! So, oh my, actually, this is going to be not too good. But let's do this. So your prediction is Rambo and uh, Jamia are going to take this one again? Yeah. And be second? Yeah. Go into the finals? Or else they get kicked out of Shiva, so here we go. Oh wow. They just, you're just believing in Shiva, bro, so that's what you're saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good job, good job. How many teams did Shiva have? Three that is, right? Three, uh, with, uh... Two, All right. two in the main bracket and then one in reserves. Rambo and Jameer just joined our court not too long ago. Yeah, they've been doing pretty good for that though. Yeah, yeah, they're all uh, AT vets from... I, don't, I forget, I don't know what team they're on. Alright, nice. The, the amount of skill that is in Shiva, man. <laughs> no mad. We're recruiting. Yeah, yeah. Shiva recruiting. Ah, uh, you don't have the German efficiency that I need. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is going to be an interesting match. You will see why. I'll let you be surprised. <laughs> Here you go. Alright. 
right. Whoa. I already know. I'm not even system yet. Wow. So, Madcrafter wants the 1v1 me, apparently, I guess? Yeah. Probably. <laughs> Are we, we're gonna have a break between the BO3 and BO5, right? So we can do it in that break, I guess? Well, I think no, we have to run that match ASAP since Jamir's team probably ready for the next one and, you know, Praetors are waiting to destroy someone else still. Oh wow, okay. So we, <laughs> we after this we're going right into the finals? Yep, right there. Nice. And, you know, we will have a little breaks, of course, between those matches. Alright, nice. So, this is kinda over, but let's make it properly destroying EBCs here now, at least. <laughs> I am coming back into the arena, done scanning. Oh, they might have DDs on the EBCs or something, you never know. Suko, someone in Twitch chat wants to know, tell us something about the Nulli versus Hydra boom headshot match. Oh, do you want to oh. hear the story of that? <laughs> and they also want to know what's up with your health. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. Yeah, All right. I have a year now. I joined the Golden Club. Oh, good job. So we do have both teams, teams landing. Land. And one is uh. gone. Whoa. What the fuck's happening here? So I confused. Know, they, but they, they technically forfeit. So yeah, not sure why, but we will ask them to come uh, between the next breaks. Yeah. All right. So what just happened, guys? What just happened? Madcrafter and Kit decided to warp in a Nibesis and just got raped off the field. Seems like they are just like were fading. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, they immediately forfeited anyway because they brought two of the same ship. So what happened there? Can anyone explain? Uh, I guess we should get Madcrafter in here so he can explain us. Yeah, a little well, later. Like, like, how do you get two new ships out here all of a sudden? Unless they docked and had no more ships. I don't know. That's my idea. But... If only JF did in, man. JF Davis is in. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going back to my check spot then, I guess. Wow. They just do quickly the bands for the first final match. So we've got. Let's do a little conclusion here. So we've got. Uh... Man, I'm I'm really not getting the team aim. So who who was the team that just met Croft? So let me just double check again. Team Random Color. So place? Team Random Color just got the uh, the third place. Is that right? Yes, it is. Huh? What? I thought we got fourth place. No, you're third. No, nope, you're, you're third, third, man. Congratulations oh, third? to the third place. Yes, so you are. How did you get third? Well, because you are you are in third place. <laughs> You won, you're in the winner's bracket? Yeah. Yes. Because well, you haven't checked properly the, the you know, chart then, but you can see now, you are third. So, congratulations anyway. So Yeah, congratulations. Tell us about the Ibises. So wait, why did we fight those matches? What do you mean? What's your question? Okay, I get it now. Yeah, we are in third. Yeah, you are third. For fourth, because fourth gets all the augmented drones. <laughs> I know. I know. She, uh... <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> oh my. What so, a so... plan! Have I you think guys it's because of my lost mail for the last match. Did you have drones? Um, no. Here, let me link my fit. Why are you gonna link it? PDQ chat. Yeah. Alright. That's a quick anyway, invite me to the BTQ chat so I can see that fit. Why should we have kept going? And show it on no, the stream. What? How? 
Uh, I forgot. Yeah, I forgot how it works. A double elimination, so we would have we would have gone to the final with a uh, one match deficit. Are you yeah. fucking kidding me? So we just threw three matches on. Fuck. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. And Good we job. tried to throw the first match, but <laughs> Good our, our bad comp actually won. Yeah, we tried to throw the first match and we still won. <laughs> Well, actually, the fourth place is <laughs> is so bad. Went to A team Shiro. Exactly. So, so if you yeah, if you would have just played that game instead of just four fading, and you would have won, then you would have been in the finals, guys. So that was pretty. Uh... Well, shit. <laughs> I don't yeah. know, man. Thanks, Madcrafter. Thanks, Madcrafter. Hey, that was your <laughs> idea. <laughs> <laughs> I think he, I, we let you fight it out in in the yellow room. <laughs> that exponent cargo hold helped you much, I guess. Yeah, and like, uh, especially with those like uh, the blaster and the railgun. And that's how I needed to fit the extra missiles in my cargo. What I was what was I gonna do without missiles? <laughs> wow. So is there no. any reason you want guys want to give? Like why did you do that or just fucking for fun or what, what's the well, deal? Still, uh, there's way too much loot to give all to, you know, the force play. So, so... you will getting augmented drones, yes. Okay, cool. We so what goal. we were doing, when we lost in the semis, we thought that the next three matches we were duking it out for third and fourth. And third is only a worm, but fourth is like a bajillion augmented drones. So... You just want to yeah, go but, for the money? Yeah, but actually if you are getting into the best three of, best of three and, and the winner bracket, you are already uh, at least third place. Yes. Oh, we didn't know that. Well, it, it's pretty much there. I mean, if you find out the chart correctly if you are on the winner brackets bo3 you are the top four uh top three okay, sorry so we just fail at really reading brackets huh <laughs> yeah kind of this tournament was to get into the top four to get in on the at team anyways yeah that's all we wanted yeah well you did great actually so you your tier crafting was good uh your fitting was good so you can be proud and you are taking prices now so congratulations. Yep, congrats. Thanks, I guess. Yeah, and oh, it was oh. a fun tournament. Like, that was fun. Yeah, there will be more, so you can bet on that. Anyway, guys, thank you for coming, I guess. And we will talk to you later about the prices and how much you exactly get I still don't know since it's not over all right cool by the way apparently fourth place is supposed to be two worms and third place is two rattlesnakes yeah yep. so we figured the augmented drones would be worth than the snakes worth more than the snakes Yes, it, it would worse more, because Rattlesnake just dropped uh, since I wrote that out, actually. So that's why I have to rework on that, but it will be properly spared, so don't worry. I just read Taro's post on the forums. Uh, he still owes me point zero one isk. Oh. <laughs> he do? Yeah, he said he sold, it, he sold the partner to me for 0.1s, so... Eh, well, you shouldn't <laughs> drop, you know, the last uh, game. But since Tiro's not here... He yeah, it wouldn't have mattered either way. Yeah. Well, at least we can see the reserve teams came in. Uh, there was another reserve team who could play, and it was... Oh my god, who was that? The No Flex Zone. I think no flex zone got out eh, too early, but yeah, they still have a chance to play. So reserves, being re being reserved is not bad, since you can jump in to this game anytime when something you know just drop out. So it, well, maybe you are not even coming to play, but yeah, you can. And if, for example, a team just drop out now, 
a reserve team could jump in, but we don't have another reserve team, so... Alright, the teams are ready. Okay. What were the bands for the first match? Are they ready? All right, so we are going into the finals of the Nulli Secunda PDQ. And we do already have events for the first match, indeed. Yes, I'm oh, updating yeah, it yeah. right now. So the other team banned the Griffin and the Cruor. While Yolo's Vague Reloaded <laughs> banned the Swipple and the Confessor. Shang and invite uh, Humor Herald and Vernegreen. Mm -hmm. I have no. I have Jamia and Rambo in my fleet. They're oh, with okay. Chunian, so put them in your fleet, I guess. So there's gonna be no tech three destroys again in this game, as well as no Griffin and no Cruor. What that do you think? Uh, what do you think they might bring? I don't know, I'm actually surprised that they, a lot of the teams actually haven't used any of the other destroyers, really. Well, we've seen some heretics and some sabers yesterday, but uh, they were not that effective. I'm betting on a Garbor, a Verber, a Hawk, or something like that. Yeah, this looks like it could be a very catty match. Yeah, well, there was, a, you know, a Hungarian 1 vs 1 tournament where Praetor advanced till the very end with a Garmor, so... I bet he's bringing one. Who is, uh, who's, whose character is Praetor? Umar Herald. Alright. So we got the participants warp into the, uh, checking spots right now. All legit. Wait, Trainer you... Hero, are you at this spot? Yeah. Because I see the other team warping to the grid already. Yeah, they just mistakenly warped to me, not random. Yeah, they're warping to the checking spot now. Well, this either be fast or takes long with all of the matches as the other team already has one win in this series because they coming from the winner bracket so they only need to win two match to win the tournament All right, second McCary landing. So it seems like we are ready to go for the first match of the finals. Uh, let's ping it one more time, I guess. Yep, in the meantime, it looks like a uh, contestant is starting to warp through the arena. And they are well, what do we have? We got Jameer Rambo and Kitsune Dare Daredevil. At zero. At zero. Right here. Ready to fight. Bring honor to Shiva. And we got Gamo Hawk on the other side. As you predicted. Yep. So it's definitely gonna be, uh, well... Having flown the Garmer versus Jams, that's a pretty, pretty rough set up like you can keep a garmer jammed out pretty well with the kitsune so i'm what i think uh, do the countdown shine well if they go like the same way they can if they kite in with jam with damps and manage to lock the uh kitsune first and damp him down he might actually change that even when it's damped it still has a 50 kilometer lock range so we got 20 seconds on the clock until we start the first match of the finals. It's pretty, in, pretty intense. Let's see if you can uh, take it all. Yeah, 
Here we go. And it's off. Looks like the Kitsune is starting to jam. But it's taking damage, though. So. Yeah, the Hawk's so going the... straight for it. Yeah, yeah but his Daredevil is just fly ignoring the Hawk and burning right for the Gamma. Question is, can can he catch the Gamma? Well, the Gamma is almost... He's getting closer, the though. And he's got him. He's got him. But that Kitsune's going down fast. The Kitsune is oh. falling down. But his boosting and his yeah. down. Yeah, is down. Sinu is down. It's a fair trade. I mean, the Daredevil can truly really destroy that. Yeah. Yep. Okay. And the Gamma is down, so it's just Hawk was dead ever right now. Yep. Mm, that was well, a really fast trade. Not sure about yeah. it. The Hawk can be really good tank. Yeah. It does have yeah. a shield boost bonus. And just the resist panel it have completely against the Daredevil, so... The Daredevil yeah. doesn't even look it's like he's going into it's, him. It's still kiting. Did it burn looks like he's like burning check? away. Well, it's really bad for the Daredevil actually because they are on the same points and the Hawk can damage the Daredevil from range. Yeah, he's yeah. he's gotta he's gotta go in, otherwise he's gonna lose it by the time. And yeah, he's he's burning right he's for burning. it right now. And he's right on top of him. So he's probably gotta got him wept right now. Now it's just a DPS game. Who can tank more and who can do more damage? Pretty sure that the Hawk can tank out the Daredevil easily. Yeah, I just watched that. It's, it's almost zero he's taking like no damage whatsoever. Yeah. He's, he has like a perfect perfect resistance profile against the Daredevil's damage. The Daredevil's not taking that much damage either, actually. Oh, maybe shield tank. Yeah, maybe shield work. Tank, yeah, yeah oh, it seems yeah, like he's shield, shield tank. tank. He's dropping really fast and he's going oh, to structure. No. And Hawk's still alive, so that, that seems to be it. Yep. Half structure for the dead devil. The hawk is just tanking easily. One more volley. Yep. Oh. And okay. we got the uh, first hot. match decided. Goes to A the very engine. nice plate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The speed he got that Garmin down was very nice. Yep. They could have kept the Kitsune alive a little bit longer, would have been good, but it was a good that was a good match. Real intense. So it's like up to three matches for now, from now. But it might be end in the next match. Wait, it's the best of five, isn't it? Yeah, but uh, one of the team already has two wins because of one of because they are coming from the winner bracket, and they just won the second. Oh, so if you come from the winner bracket, that counts in as one win. I see. Yes. yes. Yes, yep. I see. Yeah, that's why loser bracket really sucks. Or one of the reasons. It's just a nasty place to be. And now the other team, yeah, now the other team already has the second win. So this is this can be the match, the the, the most important game. Yeah, the Shiva team has to win three matches yep. from now to come out in first. In a row. In a row. That's very hard. Let's see if they can pull it off. That'd be amazing. And judging and looking at local chat, looks like kids actually wanting to do one one v one against me. Yeah, inviting him to the chat a fleet so he can get a bonuses. And I guess, of course, you're in the other fleet, so. Right. We're just doing the bands in the meantime. Okay, I guess soon we are going to get the bands.
So we have yellow swag reloaded, banning the Garmer in this people. Yeah, that's correct. I'm updating now. And the other team banned the Confessor and the Griffin. So no tax trees, no Garmor. It's a it's a lot like the bands before, only a a core or Garmor switch. So you guys go uh, me versus and him first, or are we doing the match first? Uh, well, hold on a sec. Right. God. No, no, you did this. You did this first. It's, it's a okay. good thing. You can, if you're ready, you can do that right now. I actually just ask Kit. You just four pin to the range you want, and Kit do the same. So this match could decide. Everything. If the other team wins now, then they have the first place. Shanion, can you give some feed to Kit if you need it? I think you're going to eat any of those. Oh, yeah, we can't have that. Because you cannot loot rigs. Well, let's see. Uh, well, the two teams are ready, but they can use this rest to be giving them, so let's just do this. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> yeah. Right, Kit is coming, so there will be a quick one versus one. Uh, Random and Killer, can you stay at the spot? I am, I am in the spot, yeah. Okay, so this is going to be an interesting one versus one between a right. Kadri, Navy, Hookpill and Astero. Yep. Yeah, Shanyan, can you do the countdown? Yep. And it's started. The drones are out, the Astro is burning towards the whole pale but it's getting damaged pretty fast. Yeah, it's probably not in mirror. 
We will see if it's armor tanked, what I guess. Yes, it's got armor reps. Wow, but that hook bill is in low shield now. And he's in armor. Meanwhile, his Osterist keep boosting his armor. The hook bill has trouble to boost his shield and in deep armor now. Yeah, the Aster is at full armor now. Yep. Yay! And there goes up there. And it's good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations to me, of course, with the Astro. Then we can go to the next match. Yeah, which can be the deciding match of the finals, since if the other team wins, that means they grab the prizes and fly away with the wind. Alright, teams are ready, I am setting them to for checking. I think Kit just, you know, got tired or something since he <laughs> made this yeah. mistake. I guess it's getting late for him as well, probably. Oh, Kit is an American, yeah. doesn't he? Yeah, he's USTZ, so it's only like 4 a.m. for him. Or 4 p.m. Uh, 4 a.m. Yeah, 4 a.m. Uh, yeah. No, that's for me. <laughs> 6 a.m. for me. Oh, my mistake. Well, let's see. Check those lots and do this. So again, no tech trees for this match. No griffin, just kids maybe, and no armor. But the hook will still uh, a possibility. But that's not like the armor not that good. Based on the D scan, this looks like it could be a fun match. Yes. Oh. I, I like it. I like the name of one of the ships. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. I'm back, guys. Sorry, I was a little, little brain AFK, but. Yeah, now that the finals are back on. Yeah, just check the two guys and... I will, I will. Alright. Well, just, as, just as you told Kila, this can be the deciding match. So if Preter's team, the other team, win. Nice name picking, by the way. So if they win, they, they won. They won this thing and it's over. But if... If the yellow swag team win, then they have still two more chances. Alright, so I'm hoping I'm hoping for Yolo Swag on this one, so we can actually have another couple matches. To be honest, <laughs> be would be way more exciting. You know, the, the funny fact that it can be three more. 
Yep, exactly. So let's just hope we can uh, actually see five matches in total. All right, I ordered them for me. Sean, and when both seem land, just start the countdown. All right. Right, let's let's do uh picking. I pick for the Bantam Saber. Yeah, we got Jameer and Rambo in a Saber Bantam. Mm, that's interesting. And the Dreamil on the Federation Navy comment. I'm oh, betting wow. I'm betting on the Dreamil. And the Federation Navy comment. I'm betting on the Saber. Yeah, me too. I, hey, I have a hundred million that the Bantam is just a bait. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go with Saber Bantam too as well, to be honest. The Bantam you has know. a nice range bonus on the rep, so it's it's a little bit better at surviving in this sort of yeah, situation. It's a zero, so... Yeah, why would the warp in a zero then? I bet that's a bait. Yeah. Let's see you they that. that. Press wrong button. Alright, three seconds. And here we go. And the they're both going, going right straight straight for the Bantam. Down. They're both going right for the Bantam. But the Navy Common is taking lots of damage from the Saber. Yeah, oh, yeah, he's in low armor. The Bantam is tanking like a boss. The Bantam is a bait, yeah. That's for sure. Yeah. The Federation Navy Common is in the half structure already. The Bantam was a bait. It was a bait. <laughs> and the Navy Common is going down. It's bait it is going down and it is dead. Oh. It's so obvious. I don't even know how Preter felt into that. <laughs> He's a machine. He had to trick a machine. <laughs> now it's now it's just a Dramiel was the Bantam and the uh, Saber, and the Saber is just gonna it's just gonna kill the Dramiel off without the any Dramiel resistance right now. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah. I, I think he's like, oh my god! If you get your feet now. And it's oh. not. And there goes yeah, Dramiel. Very well done. Very well done. I can't believe that shit. bait worked. That was... Wow. As well executed bait. <laughs> very, very nice. Very nice upset. The Bantam didn't even break shields. What a tank, man. I really want to see that Bantam fitting. Yeah. Maybe we're going to get it on the chat. And I can link it to the stream as well. <laughs> oh, it is so obviously bait. Come on, Peter, what the hell are you thinking? See EC three hundreds on the field too, they're jamming jamming drones out. I kind of agree with uh who was who said that earlier that uh, we didn't see lots of other normal destroyers and I kinda of agree on that. Sabres and heretics. You know, they we, we I think we saw one fly catcher and like a couple sabres and then like two two heretics or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, I was expecting to see, like, Dragoons, or the Galente one, or or the Kaldari one, actually. The oh, we didn't see those at all. The Korax, or whatever it's called. It's pretty, uh, it's, yeah, that's pretty interesting. Yeah, that's probably because it's, they are the same point uh, as the Tech 3, Tech 2, so it's not really worth to bring a Tech 1 destroyer if you can bring a Tech 2, or even a Tech 3. That's true. I mean, each of them actually do have their own merits, so... Okay, so we got the bands of the next match. Uh, the other team banned the Swipul and the Confessor. So, no tax trees. What, no Bantam band? <laughs> Well, we're still waiting for the second set of bands, so yeah, there might so... be a Bantam. No, it, it's a Garmor and the Griffin, so the Bantam is open for everybody. 
<laughs> well, Xu, uh, since you were playing a lot in this tournament, can you tell <laughs> your experience a bit? Uh, it was, it was, I don't know, I was kind of nervous at first because, like, we had Praetor and then we had uh, our other Shiva team right in the beginning that we could have came up against. Uh, it was, I don't know, I had a lot of fun. Like, I've just been enjoying this because, like, one of the th main things I want to do in EVE is the Alliance tournament, so I've always followed tournaments really well. And, uh, yeah, like, I don't know, it was a lot of fun. It was stressful, but it was fun. I don't really have much to say about it. The, uh, we practice a lot coming into it. And, yeah, uh, have, have your hands fatted before matches? Sorry, what was that? I have your hands uh, sweat, you know, uh, before oh, the matches. Oh, yeah. The, the one where we had a rematch good day and, like, I was sweating, I was shaking. Like, that was probably some of the most intense flying, like, hugging the edge of the boundary just to kite those drones out was, that was, like, that was my most intense match in this uh, tournament by far. Yeah, it was amazing. Like you were right on the edge of the boundary as well. Like it was so close. Like wow. Yeah, honestly, I really thought that Zuko spoiled the bait bantam too early on the stream, but as they <laughs> fell for it, it wasn't the case. I, I guess the delay actually kind of made it postponed. Oh, yeah. I don't. I don't think the contenders are actually listening to the stream too. Like I don't know. Like we didn't. I don't know yeah, about I, you guys. I but muted it every time. Yeah, I, I muted as well when I played, so I could focus. But uh, yeah, whatever. Yeah, we try not to spoil or anything, but sometimes it happens. Okay, Dorian, would you pull out the loot? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Can you give actually a ETA on us how much we gathered? Or oh, one and a half billion. Nine. Oh yeah. What? How much, and a half how much billion. have you guys spent actually for this, you know, just for a little information here? Uh well, uh me of course, X Okay, how can you can spent? you ask the question again? So, how much have you spent for this? How much uh, assets you gathered up in here? I've Four spent billion. nothing, because my Corp CEO paid everything. But he spent, like, I think it was like 5 bill. Not entirely sure. Yeah, that's about how much we spent. I have about uh, 700-ish in implants, so did Zayo. And then, um, we had, uh, yeah, about... Four bill worth of ships and drones. Oh, most of it's in the drones, really. It's augmented acolytes are really expensive now. The most expensive part of, uh, on our what what we bought was actually the ammunition because we need we'd never get to use it because we had some uh, swivels ready, but we had that fucking whatever the most expensive ammu uh, projectile ammunition is. We had you know you had that ready for the swivels. It's like 600k each nice. shot of. That's real tournament ammo. Of like small ammunition, you know, that was so expensive, man, but uh, we didn't get to use it, so. Yeah, and I'm reading. It's the only time ever you get to use that ammo, that's in tournament. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Curse, Curse for Ages just wrote to me in a chat that they spent 3.5 billion and used only 800 of this. That's not bad. Could be worse. Well, including the swivel loss from just now, I think uh, for us, we spent four bill, we've lost, I don't know, 100? <laughs> okay, but you were out and you not even... Yeah, we have to <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that uh, Tristan I lost against Praetor was 100 mil worth of drones in it. <laughs> just... Oh, nice. Already replaced. No biggie. <laughs> But I definitely yeah, well, have some is grinding to do after this tournament. I love you for this. I mean, this is so huge amount. There were teams who not even used implants, you know, to not getting into too much builds. But they still performed not quite well.
uh, you know, in face of no implants. But you used implants for every matches, and I bet different ones, right? Uh, we actually just had an overall uh, set of implants that we, we used for every match. Just the whole tournament, we used the same set, basically. It was a good, around, well-rounded uh, set. Uh, so what's what's the deal, Suko? We're we just giving the teams a little break. Are they just getting ready? Uh, well, what's the situation? Well, Jamir just had three minutes, uh, two minutes ago. So I will check on that. Right, so you can go to the toilet real quick. Yeah, real quick. All right, yeah, I'll be right back. No washing of the hands. No pressure. <laughs> Here, I'll link my uh, implants that I brought in the chat. Oh, this is the universal one, okay. Yeah, yeah. We knew we were going to bring a lot of confessors, so we stuck with the small energy turret. Oh yeah, I see. It's it's quite good for that. And that hey, carve confessor roll. Let's do it. Yeah. I still have one fit up, ready to go. Move it back to staging. Alright, the two teams are ready. So, kill a bee, where are you? <laughs> Yeah, it looks like me, of course, had a similar set. Mm -hmm. Alright, they just uh, coming for checking. So we're having our third match of this final. Well, a little bit about the prices. The first place will get two Rattlesnake Victory Edition in HHQ Nullsecundus Home. I bet that's not a spoiler if any other ally is watching this. So, it's really pricey these days. It's 3 billion, uh, just the blueprint, so that means it's like 3.4 billion, which is not bad. And the second place getting two plexes, uh, which is not bad too. That's what, 800 million each? Something like that. Yeah. And the uh, plex device is terrible. Yeah, <laughs> based on the amount of loot we have, we're going to drop uh, 100 million loot on that. And for the third place, it's getting two rattlesnake and spare loot. Fourth place getting two worms and spare loot. Uh, the exact amount I can't uh, tell you now, but uh, it will be on the newly second forums uh, later. Alright, I'm back. I'm just doing a scanning on those two dudes here. Yep. Oh, the D scan looks fun. Yeah, we do have a ship that we've not sen seen before, I think. Yes. First appearance in this tournament. Nice. Wow. Not bad. I expecting some huge from that. All right, my dudes are good to go. I'm working back to the arena. Yep. And again, this could be the final match if uh, the other team wins. If the other team wins again, exactly. Yeah. If if your swag win, then it's a complete stalemate with two o two. So that means there will be another match. A final match. Oh my god, that'd be so amazing. So <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm just betting on I'm just betting on your sweat uh, swag again, so we can actually have like the final match. That'd be amazing. Right, I just gave them the order to warp in, shine as usual when the boss team arrive to the countdown. Let's do this. All right. I bet to the wolf because I'm just a min matter fan, as you know. <laughs> so we do and have. We have Jameer in the wolf and Rambo in the hawk. Both warped in at zero again. No fear. We have much egg. 
And now we get a Sentinel and a Hawk landing at 30 from uh, Team Yellow Swag. This is the first wolf of the tournament. Yes, it is. It is. Go, Minotaur team. Go. Go. We have the 30 second cooldown, so it's about to start. Well, I totally bet that the Sentinel and the Hope will run away as fast as they can. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna be watching this hawk, this uh, wolf. Yeah, if it gets on that Sentinel, it's dead. And it's on. Yep. It is on. And they're burning. They're burning right into them. Sentinel's trying to mute up the wolf. Yeah, the hawk is getting oh. nuked and damage. Very nice. 3k speed. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And the Sentinel is managing to kite. Just barely. Just barely to kite, yeah. Ooh, and they could not grab or scramble. The wolf is out of yeah. the yeah. The hawk is on the wolf, and the hawk is on the wolf, yep. So, the wolf switching over to the hawk. Just take yeah, the wolf is damage. standing still. The wolf is actually standing ah. still. Actually, no. I don't don't see any drones from the Sentinel. I don't see. I this think he just ripping. forget that he did that before. Yeah, he did that in the first. Yeah, he's probably <laughs> running f running for his life. Oh, he <laughs> ah, fuck! I thought he's moving out, but he's not. Yeah, no, they no, are no. pretty much the it. And close the wolf is going oh. down. Yeah. Please, Come wolf's on. in structure. What does he not have a cap booster? Or nah, he's, he's dead. dead. Yeah. He's dead. Wow. The Sentinel still hasn't deployed any kind of drones. I don't know, I'm not doing much right now. No, there he's dropping those. He remembers that. <laughs> no, he just, he just realized, oh my god, I got drones. And Imperial Navy Acolytes, is that like... He doesn't have the TT skills? What are you guys doing after CG over there, man? Well, you know, these drones are... <laughs> um, does much more damage than tactics. Not the Imperial Navy. Ah, oh, yeah, you might be right. The augmented zoo, the Imperial Navy's down. But obviously yeah. he didn't need those drones anyway. Yeah. <laughs> well, they may be just run out of money and just using cheaper drones. Yeah, yeah, sure. Tell me. <laughs> <laughs> that must excuses, be the reason. Excuses, excuses. So, by the looks of it, if they, if the Hoik doesn't pull anything really amazing off here, which is kind of unlikely, that seems to be it. But let's not do this. The Hawk's now burning in for the Sentinel and he's shield boosting. Yep. So if that oh. sent if that Hawk manages to uh, kill the Sentinel, then it might be a Hawk 1v1. Yeah. It, yep. it can turn around. But it seems like it's kept out again because it's not following the Sentinel at all. It seems like it's just nuded out again and can't really and it's move. tackled by the other Hawk as well. I'm seeing like a web effect on the. Uh, on uh, Rambo. Yeah, really huge damage landing on it now. Yeah, but it's still boosting probably on slurry. Sentinel's still taking damage from the hog, but... And you can easily fit two on slurries on those hogs. Wow, that, that Hulk Rambo made just holding so amazing. Yep, now he's going up with the... Well, it's probably just until he's run out of charge from both of his ancillaries. Yeah. Yeah. And Which it's happening could now. Probably maybe. happened. Because yeah. he's nearly in armor and he's in armor. Yeah. He ran out. Okay. He probably on the reload now. Yep. And he's in structure and, and he's gonna go now. down. Okay, and I guess this is the point right, where kill, we can kill, say kill that. Kill him or with the max. Now, now, now. Kill him. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, what just happened? I think he will be mad, but it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he seems fitting, actually, that's why. <laughs> Should I blab the hork? No, let him, let him be. <laughs> get Bunda, get Bunda! So we've got a winner, don't we? Yep. Yep, the winner is Congratulations. Like, the green and uh, Preter, oh yes, Humor Herald.
So yeah. Nidusbar was in the end right with what he said earlier on the ping on the Alliance IRC. He just said nerf Predator, and it seems like that's what has to happen. CCP, please. <laughs> <laughs> I'll buff him so we get first place next time. With you guys. Oh, it's gonna be so great. Okay, so it seems that this tournament is over. At the first place, let's start with the back. So at the fourth place, we got a Shiva team. At the third yeah, place, yeah, yeah. we got Team Random Color. At the second place, we got the YOLO Swag Reloaded. And for the winner, we have the other team. So Congratulations team to all teams. teams. On the top four. Yeah, congratulations to everybody. And yes, uh, two Shiva teams. Uh, one FGC team, and I have no idea where Team Random Color is from. So please help me out. I think it's Yolo, Yolo and Gorga. Okay. Shout out. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, thank you, Suko and FTC in general for doing this, though. Yeah. It was a we great work thing to put together. More anyway, so I hope everyone prepared for that. Yeah, I'm totally I was, uh, enjoyed. I was enjoyed speculating, like, for yeah, the purpose of finding that. pilots, uh, Two teams, two man teams are good, but what about three or four man teams? Yeah. Or I think that would be way more exciting. Um, also. Oh, I actually want to run a one versus one next. Uh, for oh really? Okay. PTQ. Yeah, I want one versus one because that's a lot more faster than this, and we can use thirty-two people uh, individually, not sixteen teams. True. Oh wow, why, right, one well. we want is going to be even more skill intensive. I was hoping we could do like 150 versus 150 so I could be good at something. <laughs> but I guess it's not happening. <laughs> German efficiency right there. <laughs> nice. No, no, no. So what, much small what scale. Fun, what would be more fun is if we just throw like 32 people straight in the arena and just have everyone just... Like a death match. Hell yeah. yeah exactly. It's like a, just a ro rebel royal. Well, that's actually <laughs> actually something interesting and could be done for a for an entertaining match before the uh, finals, for example, at the next PTQ. We just randomly drop in thirty people and let them kill each other. Exactly, yeah. it's like just random free for all. We we did that yeah. in Evoke, like we did that on the test server just for fun with like Tech One Battle Cruiser halts. Like everyone had to bring Tech One Battle Cruisers, and we did like we had like thirty dudes or something, and we did like on Planet One grid, and it was literally like a like a death match brawl. It was amazing. So that's lots of fun. So that's yeah, definitely worth something for entertainment. Yeah, this is do something, and uh, this is a really good idea. Thinking uh, a bit funny tricks here. There will be like uh, you know random draws. For example, I'm thinking about this now, where I will pick uh, which type of ship you have to bring, and for example, Minmatar frigates will you have to bring, you know, and that will be the only ship type you can use, for example, or a Marian or Caldaria, etc. It's interesting. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. Cause then, uh, w would you uh, would you just like say it like ten minutes before the match, and then they have to fit it up, or would you say yeah. it like? Yeah, that's interesting. That's definitely interesting. So then they have to have everything ready and they have to have, you know, like a set of ships for every race and then you say like it's Minmata frigates and they got to fit up the Minmata frigate and hop on that yep. one. That's definitely interesting. Yes, but that would be like really good. And for example, if you can see the chart right now, uh, since if we might have 32 people that means we have the double of the size, not like this, the double. So we can say like the first round going to be just as usual, a banning phase. Uh, let's see who banning what, the tactics, etc. But the second round can be just what I said, the eye picking the race thing. And that's, you know, <laughs> making a lot more harder than usual. And more shake up. Oh yeah. So yeah, that's what I'm thinking right now. We'll yeah, that see. Way the pilots we'll actually see. have to know uh, how to fly their ship on their own as well. Yeah. So, Ryan, please yeah, put up a pretty gun. much. I will write that in the only forums and everyone can see that. About the Soon, idea. but uh, can... I will. Okay, I will do it. Uh, I'll scope yeah, it. Okay. Well, so thanks anyway, for everybody. Thank for watching. Thanks everybody uh, for watching the stream. 
uh, I guess I will just turn it off now. And see you later, guys. Later. Thanks for hosting. Yeah. Great later. job.